all stations can keep up. At Adaba FM, we not only give you news at the speed of nanosecond, but we also break it down with up-to-date analysis, informed opinions, and distinct professionalism. That's why you love us. Adaba 88.9 FM, your go-to station. It's three o'clock. Good afternoon, I'm Adeola Adekunle with Araba News at 3 in the news. NEMA gives update on collapsed structure in Lagos. NMA opposes proposed compulsory service for medical practitioners. Bandits launch fresh attack on Kaduna community. This is the news. Egezi State Governor Biodun Abayo Miyabanji has inaugurated the Governing Council of the three institutions in the state. The institutions are Egezi State University Addo, Bamidele Olumilua University of Science and Technology Ikere, and Egezi State University Teaching Hospital Addo Ikete. While administering oath of office and allegiance on the appointees, Oyebanji charged them to use their wealth of experiences to improve on the state of development of their various institutions. Governor Oyebanji noted that appointing the people became necessary considering the problems facing the education sector and the higher institutions. He urged the appointees to bring all stakeholders together to find solutions to the problems. However, he assured that his administration would continue to complement the efforts of the governing councils within the available resources. So all of you have been carefully headhunted to be part of our prosperity agenda because of our abiding confidence in your character, in your competence and courage to act rightly and cause a progressive change in the life of the institutions under your care. All of you are coming from a proven pedigree of professional distinction and evident achievements in your various endeavors. We are grateful to you for your willingness to commit your time and resource to the development of our dear state. Oyebanji advised the members and management of the three institutions to come up with plans on how to reposition the institutions to an enviable height. The Oshun State Police Command says it has arrested two persons in connection with the alleged murder of a student of Obafemi Awolowo University, Leife, Aize Okoli, who was alleged of mobile phone theft. Okoli, a 500-level engineering student of the institution was beaten to death by a mob on campus after he was said to have stolen a phone. The police spokesperson, Yemisi Okbalala, who made this known in a statement, said two suspects have been arrested in connection with the case and this discreet investigation is ongoing. Okbalala warned members of the public, especially students, to desist from any act of jungle justice and follow the rules of the law by reporting any criminal activities to the police or relevant authorities. And now the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, or your state command, says it has seized 235.89 kg of illicit drugs in the state between January and March. State Commander Abdullah Saeed gave the update in a statement on Thursday. The statement says... The seized illicit drugs were cannabis sativa and other narcotic and psychotropic substances. It said NDLA in the state also arrested 56 people over alleged drug-related offenses. 49 of the suspects were males, while 7 of them were females. An assistant inspector general of police, Frank Kumba, has ordered a massive manhunt for the remaining members of armed robbery gang that invaded the popular phone market in Okelewo area of Abeokuta with the view to bringing them to justice. The suspected armed robbery gang allegedly stormed the market, popularly known as Tamak, shooting sporadically and cutting away expensive phones. Police spokesperson in Ogun State, Abimbola Oyeyemi, 
disclosed that one phone trader was shot by the robbers later died in the hospital while one of the suspects was arrested. The Assistant Inspector General of Police directed that the suspect be transferred to State Criminal Investigation Department for discreet investigation. The National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, says seven persons were rescued from the collapsed building in the Banana Island, Ikoyi area of Lagos State. The seven-story structure under construction collapsed on Wednesday, but no lives were lost. In his update about the incident on Thursday, the Lagos Territorial Coordinator of the agency, Ibrahim Fariloye, said apart from the rescued victims, one person was rushed to a hospital where he's being treated. He hailed the emergency responders for their swiftness and gave the assurance that NEMA would not leave any stone unturned to ensure that everyone under the rubble is evacuated. Finally, he promised that the agency will carry out holistic investigations and integrity tests on other buildings on the construction site. You are listening to Adaba News at 3 on 88.9 FM Akure, transmitting from Ilaramoki. After the break, NMA opposes proposed compulsory service for medical practitioners, plus bandits launch fresh attack on Kaduna community. Stay with us. We'll be back again. <music> So, the only thing with Denke Sabi na wire and cable mm -hmm. of the company where they manufacture wire and cable for Nigeria, Denke na number one. No wonder we electrical contractors they recommend Denke wire and cable na den choice. Denke now Gunke member of Cable Manufacturers Association of Nigeria with a government endorsement bar, plus including Boku Award with the carry. My friend, if you they talk wire and cable, they talk Denke for surface cable, control cables, armor cable, if you na overhead conductor. Single core cable plus including multiple core cable. Let them keep the dua quality and reliable. Then factory address now. Only for area. Kilometer one. Akura if express way Akura on those states. Telephone 091 Website now www.denkiwire.com. They need distributors nationwide. Oh, thank you. Let there be light. Glad to have you back for news update in live streaming. Visit our website www.adaba89.fm or download Adaba FM app on Google Play Store. You can be part of us on our social media platforms www.facebook.com slash adabafm88.9 on Facebook at Adaba 89 FM on Instagram and Twitter, and Adaba FM TV on YouTube. You can also provide us information via email, newsroom at adaba89.fm. And now to the rest of the bulletin. The Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, has opposed the proposed five-year compulsory service for medical and dental practitioners last Thursday, a bill seeking a minimum of five years for doctors to practice in the country before being granted a full license past second reading at the House of Representatives. NMA President Ojima Uche said the bill is not the solution to the pending crisis in the nation's health care system. He advised the federal government to address the root cause of the problem by urgently addressing the welfare of medical practitioners as well as tackle the security challenges that they grapple with. At the meantime, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention has recorded 846 Lassa fever cases across 99 local government areas in 25 states. In its week 13 situation report on Thursday, the NCDC says the suspected cases is now 4,338 and the disease has killed no fewer than 
148 persons in the country. The agency noted that the case fatality ratio of the outbreak stood at 17.5%. The report showed that the 23 new cases recorded from March the 27th to April the 2nd, 2023, were recorded from Bauchi, Ondo, Edo, Taraba, Eboin, Oyo, and Kebi states. No fewer than eight lives were lost in an attack by suspected terrorists on attacking J community in Zango, Kataf, local government area of Kaduna state. Reports say the attack happened at about 9 p.m. on Wednesday. It comes weeks after a similar attack on the Lansing community in the same local government area that claimed no fewer than 10 lives. Atangje is the community housing the palace of the Atia Paramount ruler, Aguatiab. Sports. Super Eagle striker Victor Simeas revealed that his utmost dream is to one day win the African Footballer of the Year award. The last Nigerian to win the award was Juan Kokano in 1999 when he aged Ghana's Samuel Kufo and Cote d'Ivoire's Ibrahima Bakayoko to the gong. Osime's remarkable form this season for Napoli, who are closing in on the Serie A title for the first time in 33 years, has put him in good contention for the award, which no Nigerian player has won in the last 21 years. The 24-year-old Nigerian international is the highest-scoring African player in Europe's top five leagues with 21 goals and is third overall behind Manchester City's Erling Haaland and Harry Kane of Tottenham who have scored more goals than the former Lille striker. The pair have so far scored 30 and 23 goals, respectively. And now to end at about News R3, a recap of our top stories. We told you that the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, has confirmed the rescue of seven persons from the collapsed building in Banana Island, Ikoi, Lagos. It adds that no life was lost. The Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, has opposed the proposed five-year compulsory service for medical and dental practitioners. And no fewer than eight lives were lost in an attack by suspected terrorists on a Tangje community in Tsongkhata local government area of Kaduna State. That's Saraba News at 3. It was edited by Olabisi Olani Yulua Shegun. Um, Ade Ola Ade Kunle. Thank you so much for listening. Good afternoon.